I'm like shaky. Say a prayer first. Hi guys, so today is April 25th. Me and Juan are on the way to our first prenatal appointment. I can't even believe I'm making this video, but I'm excited, but I'm anxious and I'm nervous. At the same time, I'm kind of like a mess right now. Juan's inside getting a smoothie really quick, um, just so I can have like something in my system. It's been a long time coming. Me and Juan found out that I was pregnant when I was four weeks, so we've known for like a little over a month. I'm excited, I've just been super anxious. I feel like I've seen a bunch of like videos, I've looked up a bunch of videos and I've watched like other people and like their journey and stuff. Um, and no one really talks about how anxious you are from the moment you find out to your first appointment. We waited a month or a little bit over a month and it's just like a weird feeling because obviously you're like, am I pregnant? Am I not pregnant? Like obviously I'm pregnant, but it's just like, it's just so weird. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to film in there um, if I can with my phone. I'll try to, but other than that, I will see you guys after our appointment. Hopefully all is good. I'm so nervous. We got our smoothies. How do you feel? I feel fun. <laughs> I'm excited. You're so nice. <laughs> You're excited? Yeah. Not like anxious and nervous at all? No. Well, it's good. <laughs> Makes one of us. I'm excited. I just feel like I just want to make sure everything is fine, like with me and with the baby. Like, I feel like once I see it, first of all, it'll feel real because we only have the pregnancy test to go off of. Yeah. And like my symptoms, obviously, and the fact that I haven't had a period. But want to get it over with so I can be like okay everything's good and I can breathe a little bit but I'm excited okay, so it's a few hours later um, we totally forgot to record because we were on the phone with family and a couple friends but there's a baby in here How do you feel feels excited <laughs> feels <laughs> real now we're on the way to my mom's um, and we ate and everything there's a baby I knew I was pregnant, but it's like good confirmation. Oh, so here's the ultrasound. There's the baby. There's the head. So exciting. Definitely feel more relieved and at ease. Everything is good. How do you feel? We're going to be parents. I just can't believe it's real. <laughs> it's like real now. I know. It's now, exciting. After seeing like the, the heartbeat, the heartbeat we saw, like we didn't get to hear it today, but we saw like the little like you can see it beating and it's like a little flutter. Oh my God, it was so cute. Um, the heartbeat was like 160 or something. So that's good. There's a baby in there, it's real. I'm eight weeks today. So every Tuesday is the start of a new week. And then I go back around in a couple weeks to do like blood work and then yeah. And then the next appointment I think for my 12 weeks is when we can actually hear the heartbeat. So I'm excited for that. We just ate because we ate Mexican food because I was starving. And now we are about to be at my mom's. So we will see you guys later.
Good morning. It's been a minute since I filmed. I'm 12 weeks this week. I'm halfway through the week. Um, I start a new week every Tuesday. I'm getting ready right now to go get my hair done. Just like a little, little blowout because I don't have the energy to do it myself. I look like this 90% of the time, so. There is a little bump date. We got a little baby in there. This big is aligned this week, according to my app. My boobs are growing too. Um, and my bras fit me. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to do that. And then I'll take you guys along. And then I'll come back after and talk about a couple things with you guys. Oh, I want to show you our ultrasound that we got from our appointment on Monday. Here's baby. That's the head. And then the leg was like stretched out so it was so cute we saw the arm move in the ultrasound it was so cool because obviously i haven't seen it since it was like very little this is the eight week one that we got and like look at the difference how small it was and now it has like arms and limbs it's very surreal but it was like super cool to see the baby like move and like move its arms and legs emotional a little bit because it's like your baby. Juan said he teared up a little bit because as soon as she put the thing on to do the ultrasound, um, the arm like went like that and it was so cute and so like weird. But obviously it's so small so I can't really feel anything yet. Like I don't feel any kicking or any time it moves because it's still really tiny. <sighs> I'm out of breath. All right, I have to go because if not I'm gonna be late to this appointment and then I'll catch up with you guys later. Hopefully I look a little cuter. Okay, it's a few hours later. It's four, almost five o'clock. After my, after I went to get my hair done, I had to pick up some dog food for Cooper and then I came home and ate lunch. And then I just came back in from walking Cooper. So I'm like really tired and out of breath. And I'm probably gonna take a nap after this because I'm like worn out. But yeah, I just wanted to go over a little bit our um, 12 week appointment that I just did because I, forgot to film and they don't let you record inside the doctor's office so like when we got an ultrasound like all that stuff I you can't record with your phone or anything so I just forgot to bring it every Tuesday is the start of a new week so this past Tuesday I just turned 12 weeks we had our appointment so you're not supposed to get an ultrasound I don't think I'm not really sure but we weren't scheduled to get an ultrasound at this appointment. We were gonna to listen to the heartbeat and I was gonna do some blood work, which is really exciting. We did the blood work that tells you, it's like genetic testing. So it tells you, um, it tests for a bunch of different things and it also tells you the gender. So that's really exciting. And we get those results in seven to 10 days. So about two weeks, I think. So basically we went in and the first thing we did, they were like, okay, we're gonna listen to the baby's heartbeat. So they grabbed a Doppler thing and then they take me to the room. And so she was like feeling around for the heartbeat. Obviously I can hear too, cause it's like a Doppler thing. So she's like feeling around, feeling around and then she can't really find it. And so I'm like, okay, I'm not freaking out. I'm just like literally laying there like, okay. And so then I hear a heartbeat, but then she's like, okay, that's your heartbeat, saying that it was mine. Um, and she's like, the, heart, the baby's heartbeat will be way faster. So I'm like, okay, so she's feeling around, feeling around again, and she still can't find anything. So at this point, I am freaking out a little bit, but I'm like just obviously laying there and trying to stay calm. I didn't even want to look at Juan at that point. He was sitting like right there in the chair because I knew he was freaking out. Like as soon as she said that she couldn't find it she was like freaking out but in the beginning she's like oh like if we can't find it don't freak out like sometimes we have to look for it because it's still really small um and so it's harder to find so i wasn't super freaked out but in the back of my mind i was like mm, okay this is weird so then she's feeling around and she still can't find it and so she calls somebody on her little radio and she and she's like oh like she says something and so she's like, okay, I'll try again. And if we can't, then we'll do the ultrasound to see. And I'm like, okay. So then 
she we couldn't find it. So then they send me um, to the ultrasound room. They're like, okay, we're gonna put you in the ultrasound room and then like whatever, we'll do that. So we go to the ultrasound room and that nurse, it was a different nurse. Um, she was like being super cool. She's like, oh, this happens all the time. And I was like, is this normal? Cause I was like, just wanting to make sure that everything was fine. And she's like, oh yeah. So she puts the ultrasound and then I see the baby and I was so relieved and the baby was moving. We saw the arm move, like I told you earlier. The leg was moving, the leg was like stretched out. It was super cute. The heartbeat was perfect, it was like 165. We got to see the heartbeat, we didn't hear it because I don't think you can hear it over the ultrasound, but basically the reason why they couldn't find it on the Doppler as easy was because she said my uterus was kind of like pushed back. I don't know if this is like TMI, but it was still kind of back. And she was like, oh, like that'll change in the next couple weeks. Obviously your uterus is gonna like come forward more and the baby gets bigger too, so it's easier to find. So obviously I felt a lot better after that, but that like five minutes of her trying to find the harpy, I was like, oh my God, I was like freaking out. Thankfully everything was good, baby's healthy. I'm healthy, so yeah, I did like a full exam. So all of that is good after that. Sorry, I'm gonna be really out of breath just because that's a symptom of pregnancy. I'm gonna sound like I ran a mile every time I say a few words. Yeah, basically everything has been good. Um, I noticed in this, this week and a little bit of last week how I've been feeling a little bit better. I'm not as nauseous as I was. I'm getting a little bit more of my energy back. All of that was gone for a while. I like really felt like I didn't want to do anything. I was just like very tired, nauseous constantly. Week 10 was kind of hard too because I, I thought it was going to get better. Um, and that whole week of like my 10th week, I was just like nauseous constantly. Like normally through the weeks, Thank God to this day, I haven't thrown up, like knock on wood, because I hate throwing up. Thank God I haven't thrown up and it's just been nausea, but week 10 was a little bit rough because normally I would get nauseous when I'm hungry. Like instead of getting hungry, I would get nauseous. Um, and then I was like, okay, like I know I have to eat something. During that whole week, I was like nauseous constantly, even after I ate and it's just not, like feeling nauseous is just not fun. It's not a good feeling. You just are like, you just feel gross, you feel disgusting. The last week and a half to week, two weeks or a week and a half have felt better, so that's good. Hopefully it's like all up from here and I get energy back. I wanna try to start going to the gym, maybe, but we'll see, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I wanna try not going like hard at the gym, but I wanna at least like walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes or like something like that so I'm still active and obviously I'm working too so i'm active at work too but i want to try to have some type of little workout or something in the mornings whether it's yoga or like just stretching or doing something at the house or like going to like walk on the treadmill for a little bit i want to do something we'll see how i feel in the next coming weeks but i'm really excited because we're going to know the gender in like two weeks and that's exciting we're not gonna do a gender reveal, like a big gender reveal. I just don't feel like planning like a party right now and it's so soon, like, I really just wanna know what it is already. So we're gonna do something intimate and just with us. I feel like that's really special too. Obviously, I'm gonna need the help of Ashley. I'm gonna give her the envelope that says the gender so she could buy which color thing we're gonna need, but I think we might drive to the beach for like an evening and set off some like, smoke cannons I feel like that'd be cute because me and him still want to be surprised so I feel like that's a cute way for us to do it and then I want to like save the energy and the money and the time for our baby shower I feel like that's going to be something that I'm excited to plan I already have like a Pinterest board of like ideas if it's a girl and a boy all we both really want is just a healthy happy baby so I'll do a, f a full video too on a first trimester recap of how I've been feeling from the moment that I found out to now. I asked my doctor the other day, I said, what, like when does your first trimester technically end? And she said, everyone says something different. Some people say 13 weeks, some people say 12, some people say 14. Um, she said 12. 
So she was saying basically I'm in my last week of my first trimester, um, but I've read books too. Like I have a bunch of books that say 13. So I feel like 14, I should be in my second trimester. I don't know, whatever. I'm in my last week or two of my first trimester. This is exciting. I, I just wanna get all of this on video because this is an exciting journey. I recorded all of our, our wedding stuff most of our wedding stuff and it's nice to look back on that i was just watching one of the vlogs that i made the other day and it's you forget a lot of the memories and so uh, watching that it like really brought me back and i want the same for our baby like i want to remember how i was feeling at this time and i'm just really excited to share this and i also was looking up a lot of videos before i could even tell people when i was pregnant because obviously you have to hold that secret with just you and your partner. You can't really tell people because it's technically not safe. We just announced it like yesterday or the day before yesterday. So that was a relief, obviously, because you feel like you're holding on to something and now I feel like I can breathe. What was I saying? I totally forgot. Oh yeah, I looked up so many videos of like how you're supposed to feel at five weeks, how you're supposed to feel at six weeks, what symptoms are, what's normal, what, and all this stuff. I feel like I, if I could help one person or put them at ease with anything with my journey, I'm excited to do that and I'm happy to do that. I have a little journal that Ashley got me. So every week I've been like writing down my symptoms and what I'm feeling and if I'm having any cravings, anything specific. I haven't had any um, crazy cravings. It's just like whatever sounds good. Yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you want to follow along on our journey of becoming parents, my journey of becoming a new mom and navigating this whole thing when I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just going off of research and whatever, then yeah, keep on watching, subscribe, um, like, and I will be back with more videos. See you soon.